get it started with my Jack O'Lantern Jambalaya Stuffed Peppers. I have some green and orange peppers that I've cut little Jack O'Lantern faces on, and then I'm gonna take the insides out and then stuff it with that jambalaya and then roast them in the oven. That's so cute. All right, I have diced some onions, some green bell pepper. Now I'm going to dice some celery. So I'm starting off with the jambalaya, the stuffing. Jambalaya is the perfect filling for the peppers. I mean, we're in rice country. You gotta add some rice. Dice celery to my peppers and onions. I'm adding canola oil to sweat my veggies first. Bell pepper, onion, and celery. Add a little butter, a little extra fat, and a few pinches of salt. All right, so I've sweated my veggies down just a bit. Now I'm going to add my andouille sausage. And I wanna brown this sausage so I can get some of that flavor to come out. Okay. All right, to this, I'm going to season some more by using a little Cajun seasoning. Paprika, oregano, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, almost very similar to my house seasoning with a little bit more kick. Now I'm going to add my rice that I've already rinsed. That's one and a half cups of white rice. I'm toasting my rice, which is gonna allow it to soak up all of the flavors that's gonna be in this pot. Start adding my liquid with one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of chicken stock. And I have two bay leaves. I am going to cover this and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes or until all of the liquid has absorbed. Now I have to get my bell pepper and cut out my little jack-o'-lanterns. So I've done a few, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So you take a paring knife. You're gonna cut little triangles for the eyes, right? You guys have carved pumpkins before, so we're doing like the same thing here. Same idea. Make a little dot in the center for the nose. Then you wanna slice across for the mouth, okay? So two eyes, the nose and the mouth, you see? All right, so what I'm gonna do next is carve out the top. Slice off the top, take a spoon and take out the ribs, the things inside, all of the seeds. This is where I'm gonna put that rice. Make sure you save the lid because you can kind of put the lid on top once we put that rice in. So my jambalaya has been cooking for about 25 minutes. Ooh, smells so good. I'm gonna give it a quick fluff. Ho ho! It smells like Louisiana here. The spices, the bay leaf, the earthiness from that, and the andouille sausage. Mm -mm -mm. Before I add this to my peppers, I'm gonna add some green onion. It gives it that mild onion flavor and a little color. Now I'm gonna stuff my peppers with this jambalaya. All right, I'm just stuffing it to the rim. When the peppers roast in the oven, it's gonna soften up, and this entire thing is gonna be edible. And it's so cool to use peppers because peppers are already in the dish. Put the top back on. Add a little water to the bottom of this casserole dish. That's gonna help create some steam and cook those peppers. Cover with a little foil. My oven is preheated to 350. I'm gonna bake this for about 45 minutes. My pepper lanterns are done. The great reveal. Ooh, <laughs> those are beautiful. The colors are so saturated. Ooh, it's Halloween. 